Have you ever wanted to bring a metahuman to life with an audio file? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. So here, let me go ahead and show you the steps. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by starting with the engine version. So we're gonna have to install the new one. So all you do is click on the engine version here, go to this five, uh, go to the new engine thing here, and then where it says 5.50, use the preview. And then we're just gonna select install. Yes, and this is, right now at the time of this video, this is actually a, a fairly new, uh, this is a new preview. So just click install. And then install it to where you need it. Okay, so once it's completed, you're going to notice that it's, it's in. And then if you look at installed plugins, we have the Quixel Bridge plugin at the time of this video. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add the plugin to this video, the MetaHuman plugin. And I'm going to show you that now. All right, MetaHuman plugin is free. It's right here. And then all you have to do is just install it to the engine. And that's it. Okay, so once this finishes, the next thing we're going to need to do is create the project and add the plugin. I'll see you there. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm just going to select the third person. And I'm just going to need to rename this project to Meta Voice project and then i'm just going to hit create all right now once you're inside your project you want to go up to edit you want to go to plugins and then you're going to just type in meta and you want this one right here at the top and then yes you definitely want to go ahead and restart okay so once that's done Okay, we can close this out because we've we've enabled the plugin. And one of the ways you can tell is you can just hit right click right here and you'll see the metahuman animator, okay? But before we do that, we're going to need our character. So let's go up here in the left corner right here where we can add to our project. We're going to go to the Quixel Mega Bridge. And what we're going to do is we're going to select metahumans. Once your metahumans populate, what you can do is you can go ahead, you can select a metahuman. And right now it's only got the highest quality here, but that's okay. And what you, what you can do is, well, first you got to sign in. Okay, so once you've signed in, you're just going to, you can hit this either this down arrow here. You can select whatever character you want. And then just hit the down arrow here or down arrow here. Now, so me, I've already got some characters downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ones I've got saved. And you see with the check mark, I already got it downloaded. So I'm going to select this one. And then I'm going to implement this into the project. So. And you can, you can select right here, which uh, once, once you've downloaded it before, you can select which one you want. I'm just going to do this medium one here because that's the one I've downloaded already. So. And then I'm just going to add it to the project. And then that's it. And then for me, I can close this out. But in the meantime, you'll probably have to download yours. So, All right. So once you've done that, you go to your content folder. And you can see you've got your MetaHuman folder. You can double click into that. And then what we're going to do right here is we're going to import a sound. So I'm going to show you the way I did that real quick. Okay. So simply, the only thing I did was I, you know, went onto Windows, I, you know, downloaded, or I actually opened up the app called Sound Recorder. That's what it's called on a typical Windows PC. And then once you do that, it'll open up like this. And then you can record whatever audio voice you want. And again, you can, uh, you can go to the settings here. And you can choose the format. Now, I did an MP3. I've tried MP3 and WAV, and they both work. So you can definitely do one of those too. And then when you're done with the file, you can also rename the file. And then you can also show the folders in. And then I, what I did was, after I did that, I just closed this out, copied, pasted it, and put it on my desktop. So I got a, a, a voice test right here. So that's how I acquired my voice file. So, all right, let's go ahead and go back to uh, our project. Okay, we're back in our project. Now, back in our folder here, I'm just going to select the import. 
And then I'm going to select my desktop because that's where I have my file saved. And I'm going to select my file. And I'm just going to hit open. Control, shift, and save. And that'll save the file. Okay, so we got to create one asset and do some settings to it. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to the uh, MetaHuman animator and we're going to go to MetaHuman performance. Now I'm just going to call this MP underscore Cooper because that's the MetaHuman character I'm using and MP stands for MetaHuman performance. Control Shift S to save. And then we're just going to go ahead and double click into this. And we're going to say OK to this. It's just because my video card is at the minimum. And right here, we're going to change this input type to audio. Next, we're going to import our audio file. And that's going to be the meta human voice test that I had here. And then this face control board should populate automatically. So that's that's going to be there. And then we need the visualization mesh, which is the character. So we're going to do the Cooper face mesh. That's what you want. Yes, and you want to hit yes to this. And you want to enable all missing plugins because there's certain things with metahumans like groom and all that. So, right. And then like right here, you can press the play button and it'll, it, it should like basically show, uh, you know, you got your voice thing here. Wow, this is great. I'm a metahuman and I can talk now with a simple audio file. Now, in order for this to process, what we're going to need to do is do a, an apply. So we're going to do this process button, which acts as like an apply button in most of your settings. So just hit the process. Okay, so right here after this process, I'm going to have to restart because there were some new settings applied. So we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so just before I, you know, actually restart, I just want to show you that it should work. So just go ahead and hit play. Wow, this is great. I'm a metahuman, and I can talk now with a simple audio file. Excellent. You know, and again, I'm sorry that the, the graphic here is not so great. It's just because I don't have the best video card. So hopefully I'll get a new computer uh, soon. <laughs> so yeah. So let me go ahead and restart, and I'll come right back. Oh, also, always make sure you save. So see this little star here? Make sure you save. Once that goes away, then everything's saved. And down here, you can verify everything's saved. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to export the animation. So we're just going to click export. And this is uh, Cooper's uh, uh, animation right here. So we're, yeah, we can leave it right here in the meta folder and just hit save. And then just leave everything at its default. Okay, so now that that's done, we can close that out. And then next we can, okay, so we've got this, we got this animation right here. So let's just go ahead and open it up. And then right here, you're going to see here, the character's mouth is going to move, but with no voice. So this is how we're going to fix that. We're going to, first, we're going to pause this and then go back to the beginning of the actual uh, um, video right here. Right here, we're under notifies, we're going to right click. And then we're going to add a notify. We're going to do a play sound notify. Okay. And then with this play sound, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this and make sure it's at the beginning of the timeline. We're going to go up while we got this selected. Oh, yeah, we got it selected. We're going to go to the sound and we're going to choose our file. And that's going to be our meta human test voice. And then what we can do is we're going to hit save. And wow. then we're going to hit play this is so great. we can see what we got. I'm a metahuman, and I can talk now with a simple audio file. Excellent.
Okay, so great. So we've added sound to this animation here. So we're all set. We can save it again. We can pause that. And then what we can do is, like I said, we can close this out. And yeah, we can close that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the Cooper file. So go on, you're in your MetaHumans file again. Go to the folder. And right here, we're going to need to open this up. So let's just double click it. And again, if any plugins show up that you need to, to like enable, just go ahead and enable them. Because like I said, you've got hair, you've got a lot of things going on with MetaHumans. And then, yeah, if you need to, just go ahead and restart. Okay. So while we're here, we, we can click on the viewport and we see our MetaHuman here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over and what we have to do is we have to add an animation to the face. So we're going to go over here into the port right here. And we're going to select the face. And then right here under the animation, because we got the face mesh. And right here, it's got an anim. But we're going to, instead of using a blueprint, we're going to use an animation asset. And this is just going to be for testing. And then right here, the animation to play is going to be this Cooper one we just created with the sound file. Okay? Now, if you notice here, we've got looping, and we've also got playing. So, right now, what, what's, what's happening here is... Uh, it's going to automatically play and automatically loop when we put this character into the into the actual viewport. So let's do a compile and then a save. We're going to take this, drag this over, and that should cover it. So let's go ahead and go to the viewport. We're going to go right to where our start is right here. And we're going to go ahead and maybe like right about here. And we're going to grab our character, our metahuman, drag them out. Give him some time to render. And then hit E. And then we're just going to rotate him this way. So now what we can do is we can go into our viewport and we can go and see what we got. All right. Just go ahead and hit the play button. Wow, this is great. I'm a metahuman, and I can talk now with a simple audio file. Excellent. Okay, so if the character's mouth is moving, and you can hear the audio, then congrats, you completed this tutorial. Now, I have a special surprise for you at the end of this video, where I'm going to link to where you can actually put your face onto a metahuman. So please check out the next video. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.